Hello, this is Troy Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee, and I'm here with part two of my CB to 10 meter conversion. I have completed it to a point where I have been able to start using it. Uh, it is a, probably a never ending project that I will continue to probably grow and change as, it, as I uh, improve things. Uh, I've been playing with it on the air and for the last couple of weeks since uh, I finished it, um, I worked uh, several DX entities with it uh, on FT8 and FT4. Alaska, Hawaii, South Korea, Japan, China, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Fiji, Samoa, Hong Kong, and Suriname. Uh, I've worked uh, voice sideband uh, within the U.S. Um, as far as uh, New York, Long Island, Long Island, New York. Uh, so that's West Coast, East Coast for me. So we're going to talk about some of the hardware used to make this happen. Um, as I mentioned before, I gutted the old PLL circuit in the radio and I've replaced it with uh, Arduino uh, Nano. So I removed the uh, selector switch and LED screen for the channel channels um, didn't need this so it opened up a lot of room in there uh, it also had the LED for transmit which was right here so that's no longer in there and I'll talk about that here in a little bit what I did for that uh, you will need uh, the main part of it is a nano Arduino Nano um, this is controlling everything you will need an SI5351 uh, I've used both these cheaper ones and the Autofruit ones. Um, the one in here is an Autofruit at the currently. You will need a OLED screen. Um, this is a 0.96. Uh, you can you know you can use whatever you size you want to fit in a radio. I mean if you got room you can get a bigger one. Um, I have my screen on the outside right now as I was having a little bit of trouble getting it fit in there. Um, I, this is just temporarily for now. I will probably uh, get it in the inside once I figure out how I want to do that. Uh, and then uh, you will need an encoder uh, with a push button. And this is for your frequency adjustment. So, you know, you will need a 10 picofarad capacitor, which will go from clock zero on the uh, SI5351 to your point in the radio where you're in injecting that uh signal and then also some of the other hardware that i have that i made uh is, um i made a cable for the mic input um so this goes for mic for this radio and then i have uh for ptt and mic input uh i did not have a mic for this radio so i had found one of these uh sony this is a sony dynamic mic i'm assuming it's for one of those tape recorder uh, recorders um, I used the on off switch for PTT and then I also created a uh, uh, a keying switch for using digital modes um, I got this off of uh, N3FJP's website for his AC log um, I'll show the description of the schematic here uh, but this right here is allowing me to use it with an RS-232 to USB so I can key the radio for digital modes. And then, uh, so let's open up the radio here. So how I mounted the uh, Nano is I have one of these little breakout boards here. And I just tapped a little hole here for holding it screwed in. Um... The SI5351, I soldered in the ground side of the outputs to one of these IF filter cans. And then the uh, uh, 10 picofarad capacitor is soldered to that and then drops into the board on the radio for the input. Uh, one of the other things you will also need is a... Uh, 7805 voltage regulator so 5 volt regulator to power the Arduino and I have that right here um, and that's powering the 5 volts I have the power coming off the switch over here so when I turn the radio on it turns on the Arduino so as I mentioned I uh, 
remove that LED transmitting screen. So what I did was uh, I found that it had eight volts feeding that uh, LED and when it goes into transmit mode. So on the Arduino, you have an analog input that can read up to five volts. So I put a voltage divider in there and brought it down to like three volts. And so um, when it goes into transmit, uh, it changes this RX to TX. And I'll show a quick little clip here of that happening. Okay, so we talked about hardware. Let's talk about software. Uh, the Arduino code that I wrote, uh, I borrowed code from different uh, programmers that I found on on uh, for different projects. And I used some of their code to fill in some of the blanks that I didn't know. Uh, so as I mentioned before, um, this RX you know, TX is in the code, and then, uh, you know, the frequency adjustment with the encoder. Uh, I have, when you push the button, it moves this little point for step adjustments of your frequency. So, you know, tens, one. So that was added. Um, I have not done anything with this, so my plan was to read when this switch is in AM or lower sideband, this would adjust, but I haven't done anything with that yet. And uh, it wasn't a priority since I run I'm running everything in upper sideband anyways. Some of the things that are possible, you can add RID control, memories, a Vox circuit, a voice keyer, SWR bridge, a voltmeter, Possibilities are really unlimited uh, with uh, the Arduino and a little bit of hard, extra hardware. So the next steps, um, you know, I've been playing with this on FT8 and FT4, a little bit on sideband. I want to, I will be planning on taking this out and doing a little more um, activation of like parks on the air or maybe even a summits on the air. So I will probably have a short video of that here real soon. So this has been a pretty fun project. I actually learned quite a bit from doing this and you know the I've been told many times how easy it is and it wasn't easy at first but uh, it got easier as I started learning and diving into it uh, one thing about this is um, you know I made this for 10 meters but in reality uh, if you want to dive into it a little deeper you really could make this for any band you could uh, make it for 20 meters you know if you look at uh, the low pass filters of of 10 15 20 uh, you will see that you know 20 is double of 10 so you could just uh, add some capacitors and ductance to the low pass circuit in this and start getting it tuned up on 20 meters and then just change your if frequency so that's something i might try down the future with something to see you know just more learning so hope this helps uh you pique some interest in something that you might want to do. It's been fun. So 73 and thanks for watching.